This saw is a bit of a bear. Once it's in my hands, I'm supercharged. Bobby and Mike, they're great people. It's gonna be fun. Got BT all over it, so I know it's Bobby Taylor's. She is a little spitfire. And I think it's gonna be a blast. Wow, you made a good choice, mama. Oh, thank you, thank you. Total domination. So happy for my mom and Mike. Happily ever after. It'll be a great cabin. Oh, wow. In the mountains of northern Montana lives a family of master craftsmen. L.V. Miller and his wife Rebecca have six children. But this Amish family don't ride horse and buggy. They use cell phones. I gotta grab my technology. And power tools. Timber! Oops. L.V. heads up one of the biggest cabin businesses in Montana. Hold it, hold it, hold it. His team handcraft one-of-a-kind log homes, ship them to families across the country, and fit out their interiors, turning dreams into reality. It's the start of summer, and at Elvie's yard in Montana, business is booming. I'm gonna have to start cracking the whip here. Elvie's crew have jobs right across the country. They are working 24-7 to keep up with the orders. You can lay that beam, Phil. Elvie has just received a call about a new cabin from a couple in southern Montana. Apparently, the lot is right on the edge of Yellowstone National Park. So it should be a great spot for a log cabin. I'm Bobby Taylor, and I live in Livingston, Montana. And this is my partner, Mike Whiting, and he lives in Livingston, Montana. And we've been together for about 20 years. I have a son, Robbie. He's uh, 25 years old. He also lives here in Livingston. Robbie comes over quite often. He knows that his mom will feed him. Often. I love to recreate. I fish, I bike, I hike, and uh, ski in the winter. So I do it all. I keep myself busy. My only real job right now is to make lunch for Mike every day. I should be like this big around. She feeds me so good. That's why I don't feed him supper. <laughs> <laughs> lived here all my life and we'd always admired this lot and one day we came by and there was a for sale sign so we mm -hmm. called the people and bought the lot that day it's a great little piece of property they have good views and uh, what a beautiful spot to have a cabin the three things that are really important to me are a front porch I want a single level and then I was considering a place to hang coats and such and maybe take off boots We'd like to have some barbecues and have some friends over and move in before the fall. It's our job to build the homes with the logs, but we also work with an interior designer called Abby. She's smart. She comes up with ideas I would never think of. Good to see you. <laughs> Today we're meeting Bobby and Mike. Their budget's limited, but I'm still looking forward to see what we can do for their dream house. I'm Elvie. Hi, Elvie. And nice you're Bobby. To I'm Bobby. Nice to meet you. The tricky part about it is we don't have much space, but I think it's going to be a blast. Tell me a little bit more about your lot. So we have two acres, and uh, Mike has a big shop that we built, so we're interested in putting just a little tiny cabinet right next to the shop. And we've got our children raised, and we're going to get rid of some of our stuff, and we don't even have a dog anymore. So. You have Mike. We have Mike, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've drawn up some initial ideas. At 600 square feet, this will make a small but beautifully crafted log home. Bobby and Mike's two-acre lot will be a stunning setting for this cabin. Elvie's team will build a large L-shaped porch to wrap around the house. This will be a great place to enjoy the Montana summers. They'll fit handcrafted railings that will provide a rustic finish to the porch. Inside, the living space will be to the left, with a separate side door out to the porch. This whole area will feel spacious, with a high vaulted ceiling and exposed log purlins. 
The kitchen will be at the back of the cabin. A large window will provide stunning views of the backyard and the Rocky Mountains in the distance. The bathroom and the sleeping area will be on the far side of the cabin. It'll be cozy, and to finish even this small cabin by the end of the summer is going to be a massive challenge for LV and Abby. This is nice, I mean, this is great. I like the railing. It's a small cabin. You know, a lot of homes are like that nowadays. It's gonna be wonderful. She wants a log cabin, that's what she's gonna get. We're really going to have to get moving if we're going to get this done by end of summer. It's going to be tight. At Elvie's yard in Montana, the crew is starting work on Bobby and Mike's cabin. They must work fast. The couple want to move in before the end of the summer. My son Dry is drawing the plans for Bobby and Mike's house. It's his first project. Most people think that all Amish people just ride around in a horse and buggy and milk the cows. But our family and our community use technology on a daily basis. So how's Mike and Bobby's plan coming along? Um, I added an extra row of logs here. Well, it looks really good. This first time I've seen that 3D. I can't wait to see the real thing going together. At their yard, LD's crew must cut all the logs to size and piece the walls and roof together to check everything fits. Then they must dismantle everything to truck the cabin to Bobby and Mike's lot in Livingston. My nephew Joseph is going to be in charge of cutting all the logs to size here in the yard. Bobby decided she wants something a little different. Here you can see the L of the porch. When we set it up, we'll just make sure we get this porch tied together, the porch headers. It's gonna be a good, good house, so let's get her done, huh? Let's do it. Over in the rail shop, my brother Joe's and his wife Priscilla are getting started on the railing for the porch. We take small pieces of wood that grow up in our high altitude forests and we actually hand peel them. That's what my wife does here. You don't want to arm wrestle with her. <laughs> she, she's got muscles from peeling, you know, so. I enjoy coming down and just getting some physical exercise. My arms get tired, but I like the feeling. <laughs> We have four children together. Two youngest ones, of course, they tag along with dad when they can if I'm working. They're a lot of fun. They keep us busy. <laughs> we have to measure each rail for the specific length and make sure everything fits so everything's pre-assembled here. And then once we take it on site to actually put it together at Bobby Taylor's home, and everything's supposed to just pop together. While they finish at the rail shop, I'm working on some of the more difficult notches on Bobby and Mike's cabin. Preparing the logs on site is a tricky job. The hip log is important because it's the way you join the porch roof together as it turns a corner. First, I join the two porch header logs together, and then I make a notch, bring the hip log in, and it results in three logs in one notch. Today's a big day. The railings are done, and the boys are loading the logs onto Joe's truck. Looks like it's these in you there. That's wonderful. Joe's got a long journey ahead of him. I hope he can get done quickly because he's also got to pick up an extra load along the way. So yeah, the only thing I'm really worried about is that lumber. Other than that, just making sure we get Bobby Taylor's log home to her safely and all in one piece. Make sure my straps are good and tight so I don't mark up her logs. Joe has a 100-mile journey to Columbia Falls, where he'll pick up Bobby and Mike's decking. Then it's about a 350-mile drive south, right through the heart of Montana. If everything goes to plan, Joe should make it to Bobby's lot in around six and a half hours. We're 
All loaded up, next stop, Columbia Falls, then to Bobby and Mike. With the logs on their way. Welcome to the shop. Bobby heads over to Abby's store in Bozeman to discuss the design for the inside of the cabin. I wonder who would put a horse in their house. Someone would. You might have room <laughs> for it. No, I don't want You don't that. have room for it? Or how about a mannequin? You want a naked mannequin? No, no, no. Okay. You have to check it. <laughs> Today I'm hoping to discuss with Abby things like the furnishings. Yeah, I've been collecting teapots for 40 years, so that's important for me to get my teapots in the cabin. I'm going to start with the layout, okay? Okay, okay. okay. Great, great. Space management is really important to make this cabin feel like a home. Abby will create a seating area in the corner with a sectional and an ottoman or a coffee table. This will leave enough space for a small dining table or mobile island with stools in the center. The fridge freezer will fit in the far right of the kitchen with cabinets all the way along the back wall. Open shelving in the corner will display Bobby's teapot collection. And above the kitchen window, another large shelf will run all the way around the cabin, making use of the tall walls. Abby is also considering a six-foot half wall for mounting the TV and to provide some privacy in the bedroom. This will preserve the open feel of the cabin. You're out here hanging out because yeah. Mike goes to bed early. It's the opposite. I, I'm the one that goes to bed early. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I bet he parties. He's pretty loud, huh? Yeah, right. No. <laughs> it's her dream, and she said this is on her bucket list, and we're going to make it all a reality for her. By now, Joe, the truck driver, should be pretty close to making his first stop to pick up the decking for Mike and Bobby's porch. He's already got a full load of logs, so we're hoping there's room for the extra lumber. We can't afford any holdups on this job. There's a deadline, summer. While well, we're here, let's go find out what we got. How's it going? I'm just picking up one piece, I guess. One skiff, that's what I was told. You never know if it's two boards or if it's 250 boards. Do you know uh, what the hell it looks like? If it's too much, then, then we got a problem. What's up? Oh, we got a problem. In Montana, Elvie's trucker Joe is on his way to Livingston with Bobby and Mike's cabin. He stopped off to pick up some extra lumber for the decking. But there may not be room for it on his truck. Is that going to be a little odd? The spot I had for the piece that they're going to put on, it wasn't wide enough. Where else could you possibly put it? See that big, tall thing sticking up? You can put it there. Yeah, it looks good. It's going to fit up there perfectly. That should be good right there. So I actually had to throw it on top of another piece, a little bit higher than I wanted it to be. Hopefully we can get there before nightfall. By the wind and the sun, I figured about five hours, so it should we should make her. Well, here we go, off to Livingston, Montana. With the logs finally on their way, Elvie has one last morning with the family before heading off to start the build. Okay, it's time for school. The mornings can be kind of hectic at our house. The two girls are going to school. Brina, she's 12, and Jana, she's seven. Have a nice day at school. Well, let's not be late. What a nice morning. We tried to teach the children good morals and good instructions in the basics, you know, reading, writing, and arithmetic. They also learn German and English, so they're bilingual. Because Jana is pisslich low. The setting of the school is beautiful with the mountain views and the meadow there and the pines. And it's a real blessing. We're really happy to have it. Have a good day at school. Bye, girls. I'm on my way to Bobby and Mike's. Joe should be almost there with the logs. But he's not out of the woods yet. 
We still have to work out how we're going to get the logs unloaded. This is really going to challenge Joe's driving skills. You got three foot ditches on one side, you got dead stumps on the other. Little trees, a lot of overhang. It's tight. Doing log homes like this, you're on the back roads, you're on roads you shouldn't even be on. I mean, you're trying to do the impossible a lot of times. It's kind of fun. I like it. I like the challenge. Joe has to be really careful with those logs. If a log rolls off the truck, it can break. Yeah, that, that ditch is going to be a killer for me. And I can't go that way because of that tree. Joe's semi can't make it round the tight corner. But Bobby thinks he could drive through a field on the other side of the property. What do you think there? If I drive that truck in here, I don't want it just to go poof. Well, it's rained here the last couple of days, so it's spongy. And weighing that much weight, I'm probably going to sink down about two feet. There's no way I can make it. So we just chose to offload right here. I'll unload the back end, and then we'll just move back and forth as we need to and load all the rest right there. I got close enough for the forklift to have extended boom, so they're happy, I'm happy. They're making light work out of it with this six-ton forklift. Oh, Bobby. Bobby is a well girl. She's so excited, so pumped up for this house. When I come to a job site and I see an owner like that that smiles right away when they see the log, that's beautiful to me. Got BT all over it, so I know it's Bobby Taylor's, so that's good. Oh, goody, they're just about done. Great, and the sun's coming out. <laughs> this is her dream, and she's got it. Well, I'm going to have to swing by when you're done and get yeah. a picture. Oh, that'd be nice. Come yeah. in and have a cup of tea. Bring your four-wheeler. With the logs on site, LV's crew can start reassembling Bobby's cabin. First job, construct the porch deck. This will provide a great seating area during the summer months. Then they can start laying logs to enclose the 600 square foot inside space that Abby is designing. To finish Bobby Mike's cabin by end of summer, we need a good crew. Benjamin's foreman, he's in charge of the job. Philip and Chris are also great. And last but not least, the youngest one of the team, Jerry, he's a character. Total domination. He dominates things. We have a great crew of guys here that can dominate together. Dominate in unity, I guess you would say. The Amish crew, they just don't quit working. I'm so happy. Hardest working boys I ever seen. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Yeah. It's a whole series of stuff you got to do when the log gets there. You know, you got to set it, put in the rebar, and put in two six inch spikes. You got to screw it, then you got to glue it. It's kind of like playing banjo. After a while, you get some muscle memory going, and then, then it really flows. No swing in the log, Jerry. Philip does a good enough job. <laughs> I, I love giving people a hard time. Sometimes it goes a little far, but it's the inner redneck, I guess. The boys have worked really hard to get the first seven rows up. But tomorrow the cream will come. And that's when we'll really see Bobby's cabin come together. I think it's about time to call it quits. Well, that's a pretty good day, huh, guys? Today is the definition of ultimate domination. I'm Jalen with Meadowlark Log Homes, and today we're going to be starting a series on assembling a log cabin. We're going to go over the log wall assembly, the roof structure, uh, windows and door install, railing, staining, chinking, interior frame walls, 
as well as finishing details, trimming, things like that. This is a good resource for being able to actually build your own cabin. Through our website, metalartlogcabins.com, we have a couple different models with some different sizes. These are standardized cabin kits, so they're standard floor plans. We build them you know, to order. At the time of launch, we're gonna be offering log package railing and the roof package, which is like the framing for the actual roof dry-in. And down the road, we may add more features to what we offer it to buy, like windows, um, trim, flooring, etc. In Montana, Elvie's crew is gearing up to put together the upper half of Bobby and Mike's dream cabin. Today is a really big day on site. The crane is arriving, and the goal is to finish assembling the end walls and the roof permits. We want to minimize crane time, so we've got to get moving. When you look, don't say on until it's on. Let's Work together here. Today I'm on site, but my voice is not too good. I lost my voice. LV, you gotta give him a hard time. Every job that he comes on to work, you know, he always comes up with something. He can't use the same excuse every time. <coughs> <coughs> this morning I had earache. Uh, it's endless. You know. I think the guys are probably happy I lost my voice because I can't yell at them. You cut those off. They're way too long. So I'm just gonna jump behind the forklift and move some things around. Kinda stay out of the guy's way, cause I can't talk to him. And he jumped for the loader. I said, yeah, that's a good place for you, LB. You know, <laughs> out of the way. <laughs> Every crew boss runs their crew a little bit different. So we're always butting heads in a fun way. He's, he's my boss, so what he says, I do until he leaves. No, we do a good <laughs> job. Can you tilt it a little? Can I give it a little drop? We work together well. He was here this morning just in time for donuts. Thor throat was gone, earache, so. <laughs> Nail it! We can lose this gable real easy. Bring it down slow, please. Well, there's a little bit of a trick doing the gable. Okay, bring it down. The uh, rebars. You know, the metal that we put in there just didn't match. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Easy. Now this is gonna be a very soft touch. It was a little bit of tricky. It was a little bit the way a crane operator said it, and a little bit me, maybe. <laughs> but anyway, we got it. Yeah, we're looking good. In Bozeman, Montana, Abby is visiting a local craftsman to discuss storage solutions for Bobby's home. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you doing? The reason I wanted to come meet with Russ today is because I think he can make something as simple as storage be almost like an art piece, which I'm really excited to see in Bobby's space. What I'd love to do is create almost a wall storage unit that almost look like floating shelves. So it hangs. Uh -huh. I like to think of furniture as something that the grandkids are going to fight over. It's there forever. When you make it, it's done. And when you make it out of steel and you make it out of wood, it's not going to fall apart. It's not going anywhere. In the cabin, I have two large windows, a front door. I'm really excited to work with Russ on this. I think he's a really refined craftsman. So what I want to do is I want to create a shelf that's 22 feet long. I have such a struggle to work with him because I can't even look him in the eyes. It's dreamy. 
I think this would look close to the pine. And I think these have too much ebony in them. So I think almost something that has a little espresso brown in it. Yeah. Would be really pretty. You know, I think that sounds like a really good idea. That sounds cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's really cool. Every day is different. Every project is different. Every client is different. People like Abby who bring creativity, what makes all the difference in the world. I like working with people like that. Hey Abby, come check it out. Hey. So this is it, it's still hot. This should be able to hold a lot of weight. It's gonna be epic when it's done. I think she's gonna be stoked. Mm -hmm. The guys have done an amazing job so far. The cabin is looking great. They got the porch posts up and the porch header log up, and the roof will come here over this. Looks really good. So here we've got several kinds of wood. This is a spruce log right here, and you can see how incredibly fine these grains are, which means it's very slow growing, very dense. Being so dense, this type of wood makes the Montana trees some of the most desirable for building log homes because they're so tight. So you have this open area with a vaulted cathedral ceiling. So this can be nice and airy and open, even though it's a small area. Then the bedroom will be back in this corner, and the bathroom is right here, the bathroom window. And it's gonna be beautiful. It's looking amazing. It's amazing to see the cabin coming together, but there's one thing that's bothering me. I've been thinking about having a separate entrance for a mud room. In the winter, in the spring, it can get really muddy around here. So I, I think I'm gonna have a talk with Elvie about it and see if he can add a mudroom to this cabin. I hope it's not gonna be too late. We're making good progress on this cabin, but Bobby's thrown a wrench in the works. She wants an addition on the end of the cabin. So we have to go back to the plans and figure out something as fast as we can. Now this is a tough one. Let me do a little thinking here. In Livingston, Bobby and Mike have asked Elvie for a last-minute design change to their cabin. They want to add an extra room. Bobby's decided she wants to attach the mudroom on the end of the cabin, which makes things a little more complicated. Bobby would like to use part of the porch to create some extra internal square footage. Elvie's crew will have to shorten the original roof line so they can build an extension on the corner of the cabin. It'll be narrower than the rest of the structure. So the challenge will be dovetailing the two different roof profiles. But once complete, the mudroom will provide a buffer zone when you walk into the house. And the additional storage will really help Abby manage the interior space. I think the mudroom is a great addition to Bobby and Mike's cabin. Hopefully we can stay on schedule and get this done by the end of the summer. Hey Rob. Hi mom. Wow, it looks great. Hey, what do you think? It's coming you together. Like wow. Happy. That's yeah. great. Do you want to walk around? Yeah, let's okay. take a look. Yeah, doesn't it mm. smell good? The guy just uh, sanded the ends of it. Wow, the smell is amazing. That whole place is just gonna smell so wonderful. And the craftsmanship and the amount of work that something like that takes, it's breathtaking. Very excited for it. So there'll be railing like there and here and here and here. Looks beautiful. I think I could sit on this front porch right here, you yeah. know, uh -huh. watch the chickens across the way. First thing I thought is, I hope she's not trying to build the cabin because uh, she's got the work ethic of an ox and she's always trying to go, go, go. Yeah, I wanted you to check out the ceiling, the knotty pine up wow. here. Yeah, look at this log, how beautiful it is. Wow. It's got some knots uh -huh. in it and stuff. So these three logs spanning the ceiling are uh, probably the most impressive logs. Yeah. Well, it's everything you wish for, Mama. I know, I've been waiting all my life. You made a good choice, Mama. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah. 
In Clyde Park, Montana, Bobby is meeting up with her dad, Bob. She's asked him to build a custom kitchen for her cabin. Hi, Dad. How you doing? I'm doing good. Right. Make sure I get this measurement right for this next panel we're going to build. Oh, wow, that's nice. Yeah. Well, I've been a cabinet maker now for 22 years, and I enjoy it. I build all my kids' kitchens. I wanted to go either with maple or with the hickory. I thought you said you wanted alder. No. This is a maple. It's harder than alder. Well, I don't know. If it was between alder and maple, I think I'd rather go with maple. We're actually still hung in the air on this one. We're not so sure. This is alder. It looks so much nicer with knots. Maple has no knots. Will we have any trouble working with the knots? Though? No. Well, then I think that's what we should do. We kind of debated about the wood a little bit. We're going alder. I won't change my mind again, I promise. We finally decided on hickory. <laughs> Typical customer, you're going to change your mind five times before the kitchen is built. It's great that my dad is building my kitchen cabinets. There's no slowing him down. He's a young 84 years old. Back in Livingston, Elvie's team is installing Bobby's railings on the porch. Focus on the bottom. There you go. Railings are like the icing on the cake. They give the cabin that wall factor. They're pre-made, pre-measured. You gotta line them up. Okay, hold on. Okay, there we go. We're in. Installing the railings is not easy. If one part is missing or doesn't fit, it'll really hold us up. This one's the test for Joe. It's too long. He made it too long. In Livingston, Montana, Benjamin and Jerry have discovered a problem with Bobby and Mike's railings. Uh, we got all the way around. I mean, there's only five or six railings, okay? And, but Joas manages to get one wrong. <laughs> We're gonna have to send Joas back to school, I guess. <laughs> what we mostly like to do is blame other people when things go wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I knew Joas for a long time. From the first day we seen each other, it was just uh, competition. Climbing hills, biking, and it's the same on the log homes. We got a little trick up our sleeves that's going to fix it and make it just as good. It'll just make us look better. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> about you, but maybe me. <laughs> it is what it is. You know. <laughs> but it ain't what it was, that's right? That's right. That's exactly yeah. right. We are dead on. I hope so. We cut the thing in half and mold it to the side of the house. Awesome, that's perfect. Looks really good. Looks like it grew there. Total domination. Total domination. <laughs> the railings in the porch have turned out beautiful. I hope Bobby's gonna be happy with them. The trick to saving is by tilting your blade a little bit if you want to do it fast. This is the first time that Chris was cutting out windows. And it's challenging. The boss guy usually cuts them all out, and Benjamin said he'd like me to try it. It's tough to be able to keep the cut straight so that they don't look ridiculous. He did amazingly well for the first time. I think Chris was definitely in full animal mode, no doubt about it. Elvie <laughs> you know? started to think, saying that he's an animal, but I think if he is an animal cutting out, he's more something like a beaver. If those two animals got together, <laughs> something stuff could happen. It'd be pretty wild. It would be wild. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be an animal yet, but I'm, I'm working towards my animalness in cutting out windows and doors. <laughs> I better go back to work. The next task facing Elvie's team is to install the windows and doors and cut out the electrical boxes. The 
is my son, Nels. He's an electrician. He's here helping us out. He's going to do all the wiring on the cabin. I got to drill some holes first. Well, today we just looped some outlets in the living room area. The log guys pre-drill and cut out the holes for your boxes. And my dad was upstairs, and he just fished the wires once he seen them come up the holes and pulled them out. Good. Oh, yeah, that's a foot and a half out. Go ahead and take a little more. Really looking forward to see it finished. It's going to be really cool, and I'm really happy for him. Hang out on the porch and drink beer. Yup, drink some beer. Priorities and stuff. Good at that. <laughs> The crew did a great job on bobbing Mike's cabin. Now it's over to Abby to transform the interior. Today we arrived in Livingston and we're gonna finish up Bobby and Mike's cabin. We have some shelves to be installed. I'm just really excited to see it all come together. <laughs> the logs are almost exactly level. That means your guys did a good job. Sweet. Yep. Do they get a raise? Nope. Oh, it looks really good, you know what? The shelves look great. Russ did a good job on them. They're very strong. I was a little concerned that the shelves weren't going to be able to hold all Bobby's treasures. I think we're not going to have any issues. <laughs> Nice work. I think I want to hire this guy. We have a lot of teapots. I'm really not sure how we're going to put them all away. Hey, LV, I can help you with those. I'll take those. All right. I love the mix of the Amish pieces with modern pieces with pieces that Bobby already owns. Thanks for helping me carry this big boy in here. What in the world is this? Bobby and I went back and forth about building a wall or building a screen that would separate the bedroom from the living room. Call this privacy, it's a screen, you can see through it. I know you can still see through it, but I wanted to make it so it wasn't too heavy. We'll see if she likes it. It's something we kind of threw in there to test the waters. Some of the ideas that Abby comes up with seem kind of crazy, but in the end, they really work out. She's got a really good eye. Hey, Abby, can you help me out here? What are we doing? Installing railing. Can you hold these for me and help me out a little bit? I needed Abby's help to put in a railing. Can I try the chainsaw? You think you can handle it? Let's try. I'm always learning things from Abby, so I thought I'd teach her a thing or two about putting in railings. You put one hand here, one hand here, and hold on tight. OK, let's rock and roll. I've never used a chainsaw, so this could be really interesting. She should stick to interiors, I think. You think I could get a job doing this? I don't think so. Oh. I... <laughs> it was really important for us to make um, multiple seating areas on the front porch that she could enjoy with her family and friends. Is this like, like an end table, or what are they for? Yeah, you can use them at end tables. I've also used them as stools. The nuts right in there. Nice. You keep on sitting on me. We gotta keep going. I'm just so excited for her to come and see it. I can't wait. Looking forward to see the cabin all finished? I am. I'm really excited about seeing what Abby has done. I wonder what Abby's done with my teapots. As long as you got a nice couch to crash out on. Oh, well, we're getting close. I can't wait to see what she's done to the porch. Oh, wow. <gasps> wow, check it out. Oh, my gosh, it's beautiful. Oh, and they got the railing up. This is great. Oh, wow, that is so awesome. I love it. I can't hardly believe this dream has come true. Man, that porch looks beautiful. That's awesome, yeah. Welcome to your house. What do you think? Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Beautiful. This is great. Well, let's go check out okay, inside. I can't wait. OK, come check it out. I'm going to let you guys come okay. in first. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's beautiful. 
It's cute, isn't it? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's so nice. Oh, oh, I love it. Abby did amazing with the interior. Oh, uh, she yeah. did. Have you seen what you did with your teapots? Oh my gosh, I had no idea I had so many of them. And either did oh I. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now you can see it all. Yeah. You can see every one of them teapots. When I came in and seen what Abby had done, I was overwhelmed because I, I didn't know I had that many teapots. It's pretty wonderful. I love my bookshelf. Isn't that cool? Oh my gosh, that is so neat. So this was made by a local guy out of Bozeman. Uh-huh. Our goal was to come up with a way for you to display the things that you love. That is so nice, Abby. One of a kind. Yep, for sure, made especially for your space. Wow. So you do good. It's solid forged iron. They're pretty hefty, right, Elvie? They're very strong and heavy. It took two of us to, <laughs> to hang them. Yeah, you like the dark wood? Yeah, yeah I do. They look good against the logs. Are you happy with the mudroom? I'm really happy with it. It's a good thing you caught it before it was built so we can make that change. With the double door like that, it's going to keep the weather out so yep. much better. You know, when we first started talking in our meetings, we talked about a wall that was six feet tall. Oh, And so we were able yeah. to accomplish that with the screen. I know it's not like a sound barrier, but visually it kind of makes it feel... Oh, like I like cool. it. I'm going to like it, especially for if we have guests and stuff. I was actually surprised that this full fit, because when we looked at the plans, I wasn't sure that we were going to even be able to have any space. Yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled it did. I love what you've done with the bed. It's beautiful. You fluffed it up good. <laughs> well, you're going to sleep well tonight. It's amazing how small a space you can be in with a bedroom and still be comfortable. I think it's just right. That's all you need. Just a nice little cozy bed. Well, let's go take a seat in the living room and enjoy the space. Oh, hell yeah, look at that nice leather couch there. I'll go take a nap. <laughs> go, OK. Oh, nice cozy. I ain't moving. Yeah. One of my favorite parts of this cabin is that Bobby's dad spent the time making all our cabinets. He'll be 84 September 16th. And they're so light colored, so it makes it bright in here. Yes, they're maple. It turned out really, really nice. I just love it. So is this everything that you dreamed of for so long? Oh, it's everything I dreamed about. It's beautiful, Abby. And yeah, you guys make a great team. I'll tell you what, you guys did really, really wonderful. This is everything and more than I even dreamed of. Yeah, this is beautiful. She's got the house of her dreams. It'll be sweet for the rest of her lives. I couldn't believe how beautiful Abby had fixed up the porch and how she actually made it like a, another living space. Those rockers are beautiful. I'll be stuck in that rocker for a long Until it gets to the couch. <laughs> I love this cabin. I think it's really adorable. It takes a team to do one of these, and it's not just one person. It's the homeowner's dream. It's LV building the cabin. It's us meeting with the craftsmen. And I think it's an amazing opportunity. We're, we're loving it. I'm happy it's done. Well, we still got some summer to enjoy it before the winter sets in. I can't wait to have a few barbecues and have my whole family over to see it. It's lovely. It's finally come together. They've got it all decorated. You know, the teapots, or the cabinet tree that my grandpa did. It, to see it being built from the ground up and understanding what goes into it is just amazing. I'm so happy for my mom and Mike. You have such a beautiful kitchen. Thank you. Oh, you yes. Yes. Love your new cabin, Mama. We'll put my cabin right over there on the I, other side of the shed. There's plenty of room. <laughs> plenty of room. Our dreams come true. We'll just be the happiest couple in Livingston, Montana. <laughs> Lots of tea parties. Elvie yeah. did a great job on the outside. Abby did a wonderful job on the inside. What a dream team that made our dream home come true. I think Bobby and Mike are going to be really happy here. I really feel it's the dream home they've always wanted. Thank you, Mike. Cheers. Cheers.